everybody, it's Kristen. Today I have a get ready with me for you. <laughs> I'm going to use all the products that I packed to go away for the Labor Day weekend. And I just thought I would show you kind of the look that I do when I go away for just for that sort of a weekend. So I just showed all of these products and how I packed them in a video the other day, which I will link. I can't remember which side it actually, the card actually shows up on. But I will link that for you and have it for you below. And I w in that video I was showing you because so many people had asked how I put all the products in that Person Diva case. So today I'm just going to actually use the products and show you the look that I created. Or the looks that I create. So let's just get on with it. The first thing is the Neutrogena Healthy Primer. It's funny because I have a feeling um, I'm going to get a lot of requests for a Get Ready With Me on that video. Which is why I'm filming this. But it would, it'll be just my luck that not one person will ask for it. Although, it's kind of similar to the look that I did in my favorites video. Um, and it's just a couple of different products. So, And I got lots of requests in that video. The foundation I'm dotting all over my face, I almost forgot to tell you, is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in number 202, which, which is just about on the ground. I do have a review video on that that I did with Kirsten. I will link for you. And I'm just using the Beauty Junkie Flat Top Kabuki. It's the one with an angle on it. I do prefer to do this with a beauty sponge, but um, I don't. I don't always. Do, I won't always deal with that when I'm traveling. If I don't know exactly where I'll be doing my makeup, or maybe there's only one bathroom, like was the case. We went to a cottage. My parents are at the same cottage every year for 20 plus years. And they go up the whole week. And we just come up on the weekend. So I'm trying to edit out only like me wiping foundation off my hand and that sort of thing so that the rest of it is real is real time. So I have my Cosmetics Bye Bye Breadness, which you can see is almost gone. I have to get a new one. I'm kind of hoping that It Cosmetics will be in Sephora's by the time the 20% off, although Oh shoot, I had a 20% off quote over this weekend from Ulta and I forgot. Oh well, <laughs> that's just the way it goes. And then this is the little brush. I got my first um, Bye Bye Redness at, so I always go on my little spot right there that's red and then I go on the corners of my nose and then I seem to have developed, I wear my glasses every night. Pretty much from the minute I get home I take my contacts out, put my glasses on and I seem to be developing these little red things. So my next glasses, I think I will get some sort of different nose piece, but anyway. I felt like I was saying something and I don't know what it was now. I got distracted by the Bye Bye Redness, or just maybe just that I didn't use my 20% off code. So this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I still haven't filmed the Ride or Die tag because I'm really having a hard time breaking, like I, I'm doing it in order and I'm having a hard time getting through foundation and I can't get past foundation to do anything else. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Um, and one of the things that was funny, I was thinking about concealer for that ride or die. And I have to tell you guys, I think I would have said MAC Pro Longwear, but um, but I, I think it might be the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. So I just kind of, do you see how I do that? I just kind of, if I feel like my skin's not really accepting it as well as it should, I try to kind of warm it up with my finger a little bit and give it a little extra help look. I was trying, I was attempting nail art. All right, same bronzer I've been using. I, it's so close, you guys. I'm just about ready to call it quits. And this is the Beauty Junkie Pro Sculptor brush. And it works really well to get into this, what's left of this, and with this sort of, it's kind of that not a powder, not a cream consistency. You know, I think I've done this in a video before. I've been doing this first before I use like kind of my powder foundation. And so I can, I feel like I can go a little bit heavier with the bronzer and really kind of work it in there and then not be scared about it because I'm going to blend it away with my powder foundation. Although with my lights you probably can't, you probably can't see that all that well. The powder I'm currently using since I've used up my Smashbox is, I'm going to turn this down a little bit, um, the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation 
Illumination in light and then Sephora 55, of course. It really is a pretty powder foundation. I've forgotten how much I like this. Doing half my face so you guys can see. I'm not sure if because of the bright lights if you can really see, but... You notice I'm never moving the brush off of my face. I just leave the brush on my face and really just buff and blend all over. I really like the finish that that gives. Now the By Terry Hyaluronic Powder and the Goss... I did tell you all the brushes, right? <laughs> this is the Goss Air Brush, Air, whatever that is. I use this under my eyes. Could you use this all over your face. <clears throat> I use it mostly under my eyes. And it really does magical things. A little on my chin, a little on my nose. And I've had so many people ask me, I almost felt like doing another video about this powder and how I felt it compared to the RCMA. I felt like it compared to the Bye Bye Pores. And I will say this very quickly while we're talking about it. I'm going to put on blush while we're talking about it. Um, I The one that I packed is the Tom Ford in Frantic Pink. I could have also packed Luminoso because I've been, I used that a ton in August. And this is the... Um, French Boutique Blush Brush by It Cosmetics. can only get on their site for some reason. So, um, the RCMA powder I like, but I really prefer it on my face. I will do it, I don't want to call it baking, but I'll do it to kind of clean up down here sometimes. And so I really like it for that, but I don't like it under my eyes. And the, the Bye Bye Pores, I don't love that one at all. And I just saw a message come in this week, and I haven't had a chance to reply to her, but somebody did tell me that they did some research and some comparison um, on her face. Like, half her face she did the... By Terry, half her face she did the um, Bye Bye Pores, and that they performed very similarly. She said the, the By Terry lasted just a, ta a tad longer, but not a lot longer. So... Um, take that for what it's worth. I just have never liked Bye Bye Pores in my skin for some reason. Just haven't ever agreed. So, all right, I pulled this a little bit closer. I'm going to do my brows. This is just a MAC. I don't even know what the number is, but whatever spoolie. It doesn't have to be MAC. Just Mine just happens to be. And the brow product, it's almost gone. I have a little sample size of the Goof Proof in number three. I do really like this. Frequently, I do my brows off camera, and I don't know that I'll... We'll see how long this takes me, but I do that just to save time but <laughs> but I have a few people that really would like to see the brows and so and I'm very very lightly doing this and there's no pressure in my hand at all it's really it's a good brow product I have to say I was surprised I just pulled it out to use it up since I haven't I'm trying to be better about you know using up products especially like brow products where you have so you can if you can accumulate a ton in a short period of time um, and this one like I said it came to me from Ulta just all by itself in a little package I really don't know why maybe because I'm a platinum member or something I don't know but see I cannot talk and do this at the same time you guys um, but I'm surprised at how much I like this I really have to say very surprised um, it lasts a really long time. It doesn't doesn't move around. It doesn't move about. I had no idea how many Downton Abbey fans um, were on my channel either, by the way. Moving about is what made me think of that. Um, I am really sad that it's back. I have heard rumors of a movie. I watched this thing on PBS that was called I Miss Downton Abbey. It was something they were playing during one of their like um, pledge drives, I think. And the guy that played Branson, he was the one like narrating it. And at some point, he said something about rumors about of a movie. So I have a feeling they wouldn't have said that if there, if there wasn't actually a movie, you know, sort of in the works or whatever. So, all right, I'm gonna try. I'm not. I would spend a little bit more time on my brows today normally because I have the time, but. That's about as good as it would get. And this one, it's so funny. I won't worry about this one as much because my hair, when I let it down, will come over it. So I'm wondering, it's Tuesday morning, the day after Labor Day. 
and I am drinking some delightful pumpkin spice Wawa coffee. My friend Jackie and Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Um, Hannah's cute little, I think she is in fourth grade this year. Um, anyway, they sent me a little, a little package that had some pumpkin spice Wawa in it. Yeah, pumpkin spice. It was half decaf coffee on the bottom, and then they had put, um, you know, six of the pumpkin spice, which I absolutely love. Love, love, love. It's just not fair. That should be around and it should be accessible to me. I looked on Amazon to try to buy some and I think it was 20 bucks for a pack of 12. And I was like, I don't think I can do that. I can't talk myself into more than um, a buck a cup of coffee, no matter how much I love it. All right, this is Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then I'm taking MAC Painterly with a Beauty Junkie Mini Angled Brush. I used to always use my finger for this. Um, and I still, you can see, I still do that. It's funny, I don't really know the things that you do until you're talking about it while you're doing it. But I do feel like I get a more even application of the paint pot with a brush like this. I'm taking Maybelline Bed to the Bronze and then the Real Techniques, I think it's called the Base, no, Domed Shadow Brush. And going right over that. I wouldn't have to do both painterly and this. I just do. It just works. I'm just pulling that up a little bit. I'm going to take the Pro Tapered Blending Brush. And this is Maybelline Linen. You guys are getting sneak peeks of how I'm doing on my Use It Up products. I'm just going to go kind of above where that is and a little bit over where the paint pot is. I just want to make it really easy to blend the other shadows that I'm going to use. So we're just going to use a little of that. Nothing too crazy there. And then I have Makeup Geeks Pigment and Sweet Dreams. I'll try to show, I think that's what it is, yeah, Sweet Dreams. Reminds me of MAC Naked Pigment and MAC 239 and I'm just kind of dipping a little bit of that and then I always, in case you ever struggle with this, I'll dip it into the pigment then I kind of dip it into the cap and try to get it really on the brush, tap off a little bit and I'm going right over that bad to the bronze. I think I said this in one of my videos recently where I've, cause I've worn this combo quite a bit is I'm trying to figure out creative ways to use that bad to the bronze I'm basically turning the Sweet Dreams pigment into a taupe pigment. Not on purpose, not because it's not pretty on its own, but because I'm going to use up this bad to the bronze if it's the last thing I do. I'm a woman on a mission. I bought, I had grabbed a bunch of different kind of crease brushes. Um, the one I'm grabbing right now is the Goss 03 brush, and this is that Chanel. I have to stop using this thing because. Um, I can never pronounce it properly, but it's Candour et Experience. I'm going to use that lightest shade as transition and just use it as transition. I tell ya. And just to deepen things up a little bit, I'm going to go into the darkest shade with a Goss 04 brush. And I kind of start at the outer corner here and work it in. I go back in with the other brush and just kind of blend it out. The other brush is a little more fluffy and better for blending, where this one is just a tad smaller and a little more pointed. I tell you those things not to for people that have those brushes and have these brushes maybe and know that I tell it for people that maybe don't want to buy a Goss brush and you kind of look for things in their own collection to do what I'm doing. Back to the bigger brush. Assuming you want to do what I'm doing. <laughs> oh goodness. 
So believe it or not, both of the darker shades in here, they pull really warm. I mean, they're warm, but they pull really warm beneath the lash line. So all I do is, um, this is a Goss 05. Boy, I'm all about the Goss brushes today. And that shade I used is Transition, and I'm just putting a little bit under my eyes, just to add a little definition. The other ones I've used under my eyes before as well, and they're nice, but they I just didn't want something quite that warm. I really try to meet that up with how far I've taken out my eyeshadow here. And then I'm going to do what I always do. And I normally would do this with Mac Blanc type, not with this, but I was just trying to bring only so many things. So this is a Sigma version of a 217. And I'm just going to clean that up a little bit here and go underneath the brow bone. The Nude Sticks in Shimmer, just going right under my brow bone. And then flipping over to the other side, can you do your finger or um, you can use your finger or you can use the other side of this. I just love this. I just talked about this in my favorites as well for like the second time. I don't know, it just does something. No matter how little, it does a little something. Okay, lastly, before mascara is the Makeup Forever. This is one I'm working through right now. 2L. So it's brown and it's a warmer brown. And generally when I'm traveling, it's trickier than when I'm sitting at my vanity to do upper lash line liner. Um, when I, you know, no matter when I do it, I use, I have the brush right here, the E21 brush on my upper line. But when I'm traveling, I will just line my upper waterline and put on mascara and be done with it because it's quicker and I don't have to find a spot where I can use both hands. Frequently, I'm just holding a mirror in my hand. And, you know, just, does that make any sense? I really hope so. And I just kind of go on the outer two-thirds to three-quarters of my eye. I don't always bring it all the way in because I feel like it closes off my eyes just a little bit. And also, you can get a little more transfer. And you don't want to be worried about whether you're getting transfer on your inner corner when you're on vacation. Or long weekend or whatever it is you're on. All right, lastly for the eyes is mascara. I won't bore you with this, but as far as watching it, but I am still using the Neutrogena Healthy Volume and then along with the Max Factor High Volume and Definition. Seriously, the best pumpkin spice coffee I've ever had in my life. Wawa needs to open up some in Wisconsin. Our version of Wawa is Quick Trip with a K. I keep checking the viewfinder because it turned off on me randomly the last time I was filming and I did not appreciate that. Well, who would really? I'll tell you what else I'm not appreciating. The fact that it is September it's sixth or seventh today and it's gonna be 90 degrees <laughs> all right <laughs> lastly for lips I frequently pack one of these or two of these for my lip products um, when I'm traveling and this is the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick and Smooth Raspberry and this is the one in bright something bright berry so I will use the bright berry today Since it's going to be 90. And you guys have seen me do this a bunch of times, but I always take my pinky and <clears throat> just really work it into the lips. I totally forgot my little, I, I brought this along and I did use it. So I'm going to use it for this look. This is the uh, Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. And then the brush that I have is the Quo blush brush. And I just go into the sculpt side. And just a little bit back here. I've said before, I just said in so my favorites video, that I'm not trying to get like some Instagram chills without cheekbones here. Just trying to add a little shape on my round chipmunk cheeks. And since I'm in here, I'm just going to wipe this same brush off. This is exactly what I did. Add a little highlight. 
the Tom Ford Frantic Pink has some to it already, but why not? Wasn't who doesn't want to shine bright like a diamond? All right, so here is the finished look. I will go ahead and zoom you in and let you see the eyes just a little bit closer up. Okay, so here you go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. I'll have every product listed below, hopefully in the order in which I used it. And I think that that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.